Hey, Metal Sean here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Ceilings of Sound Pro Hyper EQ from IIAC Wear Software Company. After being given a license from IIAC, here are some of the ways I was able to use it. Let's take a listen to our first example. In this one, we're going to take a master track and give it a new EQ curve based off of one of our references. Even though it does already have a pretty balanced sound, it's lacking a little bit of top end. So I'm going to now try to shape that to one of my favorite reference tracks. I'm going to start by opening ceilings of sound on the reference track. We'll go ahead and hit play and we start to get a reading here on the analyzer. This is where we can select the different percentages that shows the detail of the frequency spectrum curve that the ceiling is going to be generated off of. The 100% setting gives you a very smooth and general curve and can be sometimes used to create extreme settings, while 25 or 0 shows you the most detailed with the most peaks and valleys. Now while the plugin is listening to the reference track, we'll hit the auto generate ceiling and we'll start conforming the 15 bands of our ceiling to the EQ curve of our reference audio track. I found that it works best if you hit the auto generate a few times while it's listening to the audio until it generates a ceiling that follows the EQ curve of our reference track. After that, you can go to the user settings menu and hit save and create a name with a preset for your new curve. Just got a simple single band limiter on the track to prevent overs. We're going to take the ceilings of sound plugin from the reference track and move it over to the track that we're working on. If you were opening up a new instance, you'd be able to go up to that user presets and load the reference that you just saved for the presets. Now we just hit play and hit conform spectrum to ceiling. We can switch between the 50 and 31 bands that helps shape the detail. I like to use it to help smooth out the EQ shape that it's created. If you like the general shape that it's created, but you maybe want a little bit more high or low end, you can grab any one of the 15 bands within the ceiling and everything from the right over will keep its relative level. But you can take the entire top end and bring that up and then hit conform and then kind of use it to tilt the entire shape of the EQ. as much of a general shaping EQ as it can be, it can also be a bit of a problem solver and find some of those troublesome areas like that. But regardless, pretty much with all the moves that you make, it keeps a very natural sound and keeps it very musical sounding. There are guidelines based off of pink, white, and brown noise that can help you make more educated decisions when editing either the ceiling or the EQ curve that you are applying to your source. And there we go. Okay, now we're going to take a look at how I use it within a template to help shape the uh, new source tones kind of like a puzzle piece to fit within that template. For this first group, I'll take a look at the overheads that have hi-hats, rides, overheads, spot mics, chinas, as well as another group that has the rooms, like a left-right telephone and a mid-side pair. First, I have an instance of ceilings of sound at the beginning of the plug-in chain of this group, and I made a ceiling off of the source from the original material that the template was made off of. Then I have another instance at the end of the plugin chain with another ceiling made the same way. Now all we have to do is hit play and hit conform on the first instance and then the second one.
help gain stage within the template, I'll put a trim control plugin with the input and the output set to the level that I want the signal of that source to be hitting at. I'll then make the adjustments on the output of the first instance of ceilings of sound to match the level of the trim plugin. Next, we'll be moving on to the bass and repeat the same steps. This time, the plugin is only at the end of the chain. generally like how that sounds, but I want a little bit more of that top end attack, so I'm going to go in and just draw in the amount that I want. I may not always use ceilings of sound to conform a source. Sometimes it's just a good way of being able to take a look at it and see what frequency range it's sitting in to see if it's sitting in the right spot. Next, we'll move on to the vocals. Everything's sitting pretty nicely. And now for this last bit, I'm going to work through the extensive list of instrument presets to do a quick mix on this drum kit.
find this to be a very useful, fun, and great sounding EQ. I guess the only thing that uh, I could say would be nice is if it had the ability to scale the amount of the, uh, the curve that you're applying from like zero to 100%. So you could dial that up and down after you've created that. But other than that, I think this is a fantastic plugin.